Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the two new challenges that are happening in the game. It's called It's a Family Affair and the other one is going to be called Who's Sniping the Sniper. One of them is taking place in Berlin, the other one is taking place in Dartmoor. The first one you have to pacify Edward, Emma, Gregory, Patrick and Rebecca Carlo with a hammer and you'll unlock the claw hammer to, you know, use it across all maps. The next one is you just got to snipe Agent Tremaine with a sniper rifle and it's literally that it. Uh, because it's so simple and straightforward and lazy when it comes to the terms of how these challenges are, I'm just going to basically show you how to do it the quickest way possible. From the very start, the dark mob level, we're just going to go ahead and shoot everybody in the head. Bash these guys in the head as well. I'm using a silver baller for this one, or a gold baller, whichever is your poison. And I'm going to top up my ammo by grabbing that pistol. And this disguise, because it's the most powerful disguise on the map. Also, I'm just going to randomly head shoot this woman as well, because why not? I really wish they did not change the shooting mechanic from Hitman 1. Hitman 1 had really tight, nice shooting mechanics. But they, uh, it was really satisfying as well, but they completely changed it for Hitman 2 and 3. It's uh, it's complete polar opposite of how I'd like it to be, but uh, never mind. We do our best. I'm going to shoot these guards right here as well. Boom, boom. Get rid of those. Get rid of these two idiots as well. Bang, bang. Right, grab the hammer, cut through this room here, knock out this woman, bang, knock out Rebecca, bang, shoot this guy in the head. There's also a guard outside as well, shoot him in the head, boom boom. Right, everyone around here cleared, her body's going to get discovered, doesn't matter, going to pass through this room here. Get into this room. Get behind this guard so you can quickly pop off two headshots in a row. Boom, boom. Gonna quickly take out Gregory. Bang, that's two. The third one is gonna be here. So go ahead and take her out. If you can get to her quick enough, you do run faster than those. That's three. Fourth one is gonna be Patrick. Knock her out. Knock him out. That's four out of five. Headshot him, get rid of him, clear this room out of the well, stop the panic. Bish, bash, bosh. And the final one is going to be, I think it's Edward. He's going to be playing the piano, so he's going to be just over here playing the piano. You don't have, like, this is just another example, you don't have to do anything silent if you don't really want to. This is basically just a... Uh, this is basically me still, you know, being stealthy. I'm not actually being hunted or anything like that. There we go, it's just a uh, simple as that, that's how you complete the family affair. So the next one is who's sniping the sniper, we're going to bring along the Eager 7 Green Eye, but you can never use whatever suppressed sniper rifle you have, and we're going to start at the radio tower. And immediately we're going to take out of the, uh, the sniper, out of the briefcase. I'm only using this just because it's probably the first and last time I'll probably use this sniper rifle anyway. It's a decent sniper rifle, it's just not going to be the one that I'm going to be used for, using from now on. I see no other reason to use the Ghost in this game. Other than... Uh, unless you really need that piercing mechanic, um, then I would not use anything but the Ghost in this game. But we're going to climb this ladder to the top of the radio tower. Agent Tremaine is the one that has the sniper rifle, and it's just a completely straight up, uh, straight up strategy, really. Aim down sight. Tremaine is over there. He's drinking some water or whatever he's doing right now. So I'm going to miss my shot right there. It hasn't got a very good zoom for the scope. It's quite difficult to hold your breath on uh, PS5 now because the trigger is so sensitive. But I never tend to use L1. But, you know, that's how you do the challenges. As for the items, I thought I'd go through some of these as well. This is the DLC uh, sniper rifle that's unlocked in the last one, which was Envy. So, this is a Jaeger 7 Mark II sniper rifle variant featuring a suppressor, a feline-inspired cosmetic mod, and a black and green fragment design. The perfect weapon for hunters who lie in wait and strike with confidence. It has piercing rounds, which will penetrate bodies. Marksman, so it will improve your aim and slow down time. Suppressor, which is quiet and reduced range. And versatile scope with a 3 times zoom. Uh... But overall, it's not a great sniper rifle. It's basically an exact replica of the Tuatara.
There's nothing different about it apart from the fact that it has a, a plastic looking cat on the side. So for the ones that you unlocked from these challenges, this is called the Jaeger 7 Covert. We should have already had this in the game already, but for some reason they didn't give it us. I'm pretty sure this was already in the game in Hitman 1 and Hitman 2, I think. Pretty sure it was because I recognised the, the pattern and I recognised the name. I think we got this from uh, a sniper challenge pack back in Hitman 1. I'm pretty certain of that. And I did. I actually quite liked the sniper rifle for quite a while, but uh, it's a dreadful sniper rifle now compared to the, some of the other sniper rifles we have. So it's a covert variant of the Jaeger 7, a modern marksman rifle with custom detailing, highly accurate and modular, allowing for extensive customization. So this is the sniper rifle you'll get from completing Who's Sniping the Sniper. Uh, but they made out on the trailer like it was some amazing sniper rifle, and it just isn't. It's just basically a Jaeger 7 with a suppressor on it. It has a suppressor, quiet ranged, and it has a scout, which can be aimed quickly, reduced, increased rate of fire, and it has subsonic rounds. I don't know about that one, Chief. But it's just a sniper rifle I just genuinely wouldn't use because you have, you know, the Sega 300 Ghost exists. Why would you use anything else other than that? But overall, I think, well, I thought these two challenges were incredibly lazy. I don't understand the point of these challenges it was just incredibly not thought out at all it was just it was it, it felt like it felt like they just come off it you know just uh, just off the top of their head i even called this in a live stream the other day i said i can guarantee what the family affair is going to be it's just going to be knocking out all the members of the family with a hammer to unlock it and lo and behold i was right i was correct i called it it was that's yeah that's it so who's sniping a sniper? Just snipe the guy that who's, who's sniping on the map. It's, come on, you can come up with something better than that. It just bothers me how how lazy this is getting now at this point. Back in Hitman 1 and 2, we had challenge packs with actual proper detailed challenges. Now it's just hit this guy in the head with a hammer. It's just not entertaining or fun. Uh, and that's why I didn't put any effort into this video. So there we go. That is what it is. So. But I hope you enjoyed that video. I didn't enjoy making it, but nevertheless, hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Drop a like if you did enjoy it, though. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments on what you're thinking of these challenges. Is it, lazy? Is it lazy? Is it just what you want? Are you just satisfied just getting new items? But even though they are items that we originally had, but they just didn't give it to us and they're just giving it us back. Just let me know your thoughts all down in the comments as well. I've got updated credits here. So hopefully that you'll, you'll see your name on there if you subscribe back. Uh, you became a member back in uh, September. So shout out to Arjao, Isaiah Blake, Pill Paul Lily, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller and Cooley Lee for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.